The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com. And I'm Georgiane Colaccia. Today we're taking a look at a cruising couple's boat from Beneteau. They've taken all the lessons they've learned from over 400 Model 34s being built, applied customer feedback, and optimized it for the North American market. The result is this Swift 35. Let's take a look and see how they've done. We'll start right here in the cockpit where we have seating that extends out on the extended swim platform 34 inches from the transom. It's covered in teak deck that continues all the way inside the cockpit. We've got a table that we can move and there's another seat over in the corner. Once we get inside the cockpit, it's protected from the extended overhead seven feet above the deck. And as an option, all of this can be enclosed. I'm always happy to see the convenience of beverage holders. And notice how we can close off the side deck so that we can add a little more comfort to the cockpit on those breezy days. Now the Swift 35 has an asymmetrical layout. 13 inch side deck to port, 21 inch to starboard. Also, notice how this side deck is protected overhead. Atop the trunk cabin, there's a recessed area that can accommodate a sun pad 5 feet 7 inches across by 7 feet 4 inches fore and aft. Now let's take a look at the features in the flying bridge. Well, this is certainly a welcoming gathering area that starts with open space to the stern. There are two deck chairs that come with the boat. Dark color that's a little hot to the touch. A lighter would be a little bit better. Forward, there's U-shaped seating wrapping around a pedestal table. It's teak on a fixed base. Also notice the thoughtful touch of being able to move the deck chair over. We can swing the helm seat around and now we can add more seating around the table with its flip out leaf. The PVC upholstered cushions are weather resistant and they're available in three different colors. We have a bimini top that can be disconnected and folded back against this fixed arch. There's also a fixed bimini that can go into this position. So you have two choices. Both of them will have LED lighting. Just ahead of the cockpit, a pair of sliding glass doors open double wide to give us an opening five feet, four inches across. And now we can see the beautiful expanse of the salon with an open and airy feel thanks to the six foot four inch overhead and the visibility out these huge windows. There's a six inch step to get into the salon, which is located at the aft end of the deck. Forward is the galley. And we already mentioned that there's great visibility out these windows, but it bears noting that they start very high and come down quite low, further adding to that visibility. And notice the narrow window mullions, they're reinforced with aluminum so that they can support the deck up above without blocking visibility. Obviously, the features of the salon will begin to the starboard side on this couch. 30 different upholstery choices. It can be converted into a berth when we have overnight guests. There's a table just in front on a movable pedestal so it can go either out to the cockpit, out to the center for dining, and it's expandable. Directly across, we've got a bit of a credenza with a raised fiddle along the edge of the shelf. I like the louvered doors, and that's a teak finish on the Alpi wood. It's a new color for Beneteau this year. No problem with greenhouse effect as there are three zones on this boat, all totaling 34,000 BTUs. As we make our way forward, remember, this is a cruising boat. Grab handles overhead to the sides, always something to hold on to. Now, let's take a look at the features of this galley. The galley is to port hand side, has plenty of open counter space, raised fiddles, storage. There's an electric stove and a convection microwave below. We can option both of these out for propane. On the port side deck at midships, there's a storage area for the propane tank if you choose that option over the electric stove. Sink is just forward, as is additional storage. Now, notice that there's a lower counter area for food prep. This used to be the sink on the 34. On the 35, the sink has been moved forward. This is open counter. Not only can we use it for food prep, but we can put a cushion here. And now, we have an extra space to sit while our cruising couple makes their way through the waterways. For refrigeration, underneath the helm seat, including this handle, is a door leading to the refrigerator and the freezer is just over here behind these louvered doors and notice that this is a freezer drawer. We can flip a switch and make it into an ice maker or a combination freezer and ice maker. Now let's take a look down below at the accommodations of this two stateroom, one head yacht. Our first stateroom is over to the port hand side. It features over under berths. There are two opening port lights providing natural light as well as the LED lighting up above. There's plenty of storage. 
Here's a nice fit and finish detail. Notice the heavy duty hardware on the door and how the latch stays recessed in. It comes out magnetically as the door is closed. Forward the master stateroom, six foot, six inch high overhead clearance. There's plenty of natural light coming in from the enlarged windows to both port and starboard. The berth is 32 inches high, which I find to be a comfortable level. We don't have to climb into the berth. And that's a nice feature for the middle of the night when we need to go visit the head. There's storage to both sides and hanging lockers with louvered doors and additional storage underneath the berth. Fully forward, there are USB charge ports right above storage shelves where you can put your devices. What I'm most impressed with, however, is instead of having a single door here that always seems to be in the way and you can never get by it, has now been made into two doors split down the middle. The door jam is gasketed, so we're not going to find rattling while we're underway. And lastly, the head compartment has been completely redesigned on this boat, so it's no longer a wet head. It has a separate walk-in shower, along with the two opening port lights for ventilation. Well, in my opinion, we've got a boat with more interior space than its 37-foot length overall would at first indicate, a fit and finish that's consistent with what we've seen from the brand, and a comfort level that would keep any cruising couple happy. All rolled in to the Swift 35 from Beneteau. And that's my full features inspection. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.